is going on everybody my name is Baloo and welcome to the jungle this is the channel where we take a very simple approach to technical analysis we look at the price in the context of volume using the Wyckoff method if that is something that interests you then why don't you hit the subscribe button I do this every single day except for the days that I don't so in today's video I want to take a look at compound so compound is uh, is one of the earlier DeFi projects it, ca it came on the scene really early in that first DeFi craze that first DeFi bubble that happened back in June July uh, earlier this year and uh, it's a very interesting project it has to do with lending the lending space is growing and uh, you know for people to be able to leverage some equity into these contracts and and get uh, a return you know hold my stable coins while I lend you ethereum or hold my ethereum while I, I lend stable coins or whatever you want to do there's uh, there are lending protocols out there and it's definitely going to be needed inside of the world of decentralized finance. We're trying to replicate the system that we have in place right now, just in a way that's a little bit more transparent and accessible to the entire world. So DeFi, it has a lot of moving pieces and uh, a lot of them hold a lot of value. So we're going to take a look at Compound Token and see what we can see. So jumping right into Compound here. Oh, comp, comp. It's been a while since I looked at comps. Not having a very good day today. A little bit of an up thrust here. Okay, so we're on the daily. Yeah, we're on the daily here. Nice accumulation range on the daily. So I've already got this one kind of drawn out here. You can see we were in a downtrend. We had this double top formation here, and then we began a downtrend. So right at the change of character, it was very severe selling, change of character, and we've just been in a downward accumulation range for a good amount of time looks like uh two three months uh in this downward accumulation range we finally broke out of the range and we we've been trading in this ascending channel here so the price movements inside of comp don't seem too crazy right now uh this local move here let's just drop down to the four hour looks like we've got a little bit of distributional price action now I don't know necessarily where that is coming from but we do have this ascending channel here uh, we've been bouncing around this is ascending channel ascending channels are great to trade in my opinion I really like to trade ascending channels because anytime the price is in the oversold territory along the lower end of the channel it's typically a good time to buy and since the channel is ascending even though it's knocking you know going from the top of the range to the bottom of the range it's doing that while ascending so they're very friendly trading environments to get involved with while they continue their accumulation and then finally they kind of build up enough steam or there's some not large news or something that comes into the market that kind of increases the bullishness of them and uh and then they really you know they get a, a nice markup event but it's a very safe place to put your money inside of an ascending trading range so keeping that in mind um, we would want to look for an opportunity near the lower end of the range here so it does look like we're getting a little bit of a double top the the supply is coming in so we kind of had this markup inside of the range got a pretty nasty rejection off of that and then kind of crawled back up got a sign of strength got to the same level and got a rejection so that's not good that this is a temporary double top so i would not be surprised for us to come down to lower levels um a lot of people especially in speculative markets that don't like the high price tags uh there's a lot of people that just won't buy bitcoin because it's too expensive uh, so these high ticket item coins, they do kind of get these sell off events um, on occasion just because people think that they're too expensive. But, uh, you know, Compound Token is a, is a fantastic project that's doing very important things inside of the world of decentralized finance. Its value proposition is there. Its demand is there. There's no argument there. It's 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 a used product. It's integrated with a lot of wallets. It's like. Um, if you have the MetaMask app and you go to the browser, it's one of the defaults inside of uh, one of the DeFi tabs. So it definitely has a lot of exposure and I think that it's a good project. But in the short term, I wouldn't be surprised to get down at these lower levels. So it looks like we've kind of been bouncing back and forth. You know, you got a little bit overbought, then you got a little bit oversold, range bound a bit, bit of a sell off. The sell off trapped us in oversold territory for a while, got bought back in got overbought, rejected, overbought, rejected. So we'll probably end up somewhere in the lower um, levels here, 
get into the oversold condition. And that's where you would zoom in on the oversold condition and analyze strength. So let's just quickly, uh, just to kind of explain what I'm talking about here, let's just quickly zoom in on this, which is the over uh, oversold accumulation range. Let's just drop down to the 15 minute chart here. Try and analyze this specific movement. So we had a markdown event. We had a markdown event and we, we met at a seller's climax. So I'm just gonna draw a range here at the seller's climax. And I'm gonna trap as much of the price action as I can here, something like that, to the automatic rally there. So we kind of have a range here. So we, let me just get my pencil here. Seller's climax, automatic rally, secondary test, phase A. Then we were kind of at the upper end of the range, came down for our secondary test in phase B. This is just a confirmation of the floor. It's very important when you get that second test in phase B. And we kind of meandered around. Now this, the selling isn't super severe and the volume is low. This is indicating that comp man isn't selling. You know, there aren't institutions selling. This is just retail trying to figure out what to do. And uh, we met resistance up here got a little bit of supply increasing around those levels as we tried to enter the main channel. Uh, we did enter the main channel. That was met with a with a sign of weakness. That's That would have probably made the analysis very tough from that point on. Uh, we did get the sign of weakness. We did kind of get a few tests and we did get a breakout and then we broke back in. So, um, you know, the accumulation range on this was a little bit confusing, but you know, I'm just, the point I'm trying to illustrate here is that uh, when you are in the, um, when you're in the oversold territory, drop down to a lower time frame and see if you can analyze the trading range uh, in that local move to decide whether you're gonna take a position or just wait until you get a test back into the range and enter there, it's entirely up to you. But uh, the volume would have been the giveaway here. The volume was very uh, low. Really, it, it was contracted volume on contracted spread on the price. So that those are two uh, characteristics of accumulation. We did get a shakeout, but this is you know this is as a result of Bitcoin. When was that? December, the beginning of December. A little bit of shake, a little bit of a shakeout in Bitcoin. It happened. You know, all the charts in the crypto space have that little blip in them. So. Uh, it's nothing to worry about. And then you're just trying to determine the strength. So, you know, once it got back in, it's obviously committing to the upside. So then you can you can enter because you could see that the institutions stopped selling as it was out of the price channel. That is all the time I have for today. If you enjoyed the content, please leave it a like. Don't forget to subscribe. And if there are any projects you would like me to take a look at, leave them in the comment section down below. Don't forget to join the free Discord in the description section below. And until next time, please trade safe. It is a jungle out there. Peace. Stop.